Hey, welcome to this video in which I'm going to talk about how I went from having zero knowledge about code, no computer science degree, not having done a boot camp, to getting hired as a front end developer seven months later. And you can do it too. So in 2018, I graduated from university. I got a bachelor's degree in logistics management and economics. And I worked for a while and I you know, I just hated the work. I just knew that wasn't it for me. So I had some ideas to set up a e-commerce business with WordPress. So I actually did that and the business itself, you know, it, it didn't really work out that well, but that's kind of like where my interest for web development started. So I did a bit of research and then I found a bootcamp in Amsterdam that was teaching you how to become a web developer in like three months and most people would actually find a job within like two or three months so that was great so i signed up for it but i dropped out very quickly because the pace was insanely fast like maybe you've never heard about this before about these technologies but it was like this day one html day two css day three Git and GitHub, day four, JavaScript, day five, object-oriented programming. I mean, I felt we were just like scratching the surfaces of all these things. And that is actually also when I found out that you can pretty much learn all those things for free online. So I quit. So I actually really started to learn coding in March, 2020, kind of like when COVID started. And that is where it began for me. I decided to learn full stack web development, but I knew I had a huge disadvantage because I had like no computer science degree or like bootcamp certificate or whatever. So I thought like the only difference I can make is to just bring a lot of, you know, new fresh skills to the table of very modern and in demand frameworks. So then I learned about different stacks in web development and I saw like in my region at least the demand for like MERN or PERN stack developers was the higher. So MERN for example stands for MongoDB, Express, React and Node.js. So the next four months I did you know several courses on YouTube and Udemy um, that were mainly focused on React, Node.js, building full stack apps, um, testing, these kind of things. So some of the courses were pretty good but most of them were outdated and I personally didn't find them to be very well structured. So at a certain moment, I became more confident in coding and I think that was about like four months in and I was not really relying anymore on those courses. But I can tell you like in those four months, I worked my ass off. You know, I woke up, I, you know, sat down behind my desk and I went to sleep and like the first two months, it was crazy. I was coding like from like the moment I woke up and then I went to bed and I actually dreamed about the code I had been working on the day before. You know, it, it, it has even happened that I had run into some bugs. I dreamed about the code and I actually knew how, what, how to solve it the next morning crazy for especially the first two months but you have to consider i was like you know coding for easily 14 15 16 hours a day it was like the only thing i did besides sleeping eating taking a shower um going to the toilet doing groceries that was pretty much it but like i said after those four months it became a lot more confident and i started reading like like official documentation and and more like in-depth articles on the internet watching live conferences about coding things like that so in like the first four months i learned more like the basics and then the next three months it got more into more like advanced topics so right here i got a list of the things i i actually learned so it was html css javascript git and github react node express mongodb postgres testing and also some things like docker web security deploying sites things like that but that was pretty much everything i learned in those seven months so my goal was to become confident in building web applications so i would be attractive to employers and you know like after those seven months i i was thinking about things like building e-commerce platforms or app dashboards or like social media platforms and I, I really felt I was able to do that and it of course wouldn't be like the best code base and it wouldn't be built like in the fastest amount of time as possible but it would work I could make it work at least I felt that I was able to do that so that's actually the moment when I started applying so I applied to about 50 60 70 jobs in like one weekend and I tried to make it look like that I spent a lot of time 
in those applications but actually like you know 90 percent was copy pasted and then just 10 percent of it was like custom written text and then it was monday and the first emails were coming in they got you know some quotes from the emails they said you don't have a master's degree we look for specialists other candidates are a better fit you don't have work experience like yeah of course i mean it's a junior position of course they don't have work experience thanks for your application i'll get back to you soon and i never ever heard from them back again and i think maybe eventually like 20 percent actually replied from like the other companies i i never got a reply back but then that same week i got five companies that replied that they wanted to have a job interview with me three of them gave me a job offer the same day i had job interview one company said i wasn't a good fit and the other company well because i actually accepted the job offer in that same week i had to email them and tell them that i already accepted another job it took me exactly seven days to get a job after sending out the applications and it's crazy you know like on monday i thought i would like never ever get a job four days later i got my first job as a web developer the hard work paid off the salary wasn't the best, but I got my foot in the door and that's what it's all about. After you land your first job and stay for like, you know, one or two years, in my case it was actually seven months, but you know, it will be much easier to get a new job. I was like contacted sometimes even 10 times a day for certain positions as a front end or full stack developer. So, you know, like you will get messages nonstop. It will be very easy to get a job. I'm pretty happy looking back at that phase of my life. I learned a lot and I think I took the right approach, but there are two things I would have done differently. I was really focused on becoming a full stack web developer, but it's actually very rare to find junior full stack or junior backend developer jobs out there. The majority in at least my area is front end development. So I could have better spent more time learning and becoming better in front-end development compared to learning a lot of back-end related stuff which i actually never used in my first job the second thing is css i didn't learn enough css when i started my first job so i got it in a bit of trouble in, in like the first months eventually i got up to speed with it but it's really important that you know how to style your apps as a front-end developer because a lot of your time is actually spent on building the user interface and what I did you can do it too but you got to do one thing and that is work hard it's not easy and it is probably the toughest thing I, I did in my life so far but you always got to keep the goal in mind and in the end I can tell you it's so much worth it now I don't want this video to be like you know one where I promote like my own content whatsoever I just wanted to share my story with you but I recently released two free courses on YouTube they're completely free the first one is called web development fundamentals and the other one is a react course like I said there's like more than 10 hours of content it's completely free so if you're interested in learning web development you can start there and honestly I wish I would have seen that course when I was starting out because that would have saved me like a lot of time months probably so if you're interested check it out having that said if you like this type of content please subscribe to the channel which is all about becoming a better programmer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions let me know down in the comments thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one